Hello! We are back! Finally! Um... Yeah, something miraculous happened, and... It looks like... I got it to work. I don't, I don't know what I did. It just decided to start working. I was reading forums and all this junk, and I came back to it, and I just started trying to do what I was basically repeating over and over. I just went, came back to it, and and it it works now, kind of. Let's see here. Um, yeah, that's pretty. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, it was really good. No, it's like no. This is this is still pretty good. This is definitely pretty good. Um, a lot better than before. So we're back and we are up and running. And I think I can paint with this speed. Yep. See here. Let's see. Can you guys hear me okay? Can you guys hear me okay? Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Let me turn on the music. Um Yeah, I'm not sure what I did, but it obviously helped. Um Without further ado, let's continue and finish this guy as fast as we can. Because um, I spent a lot of time just trying to figure out the freaking uh, technical stuff. Alright, so. First of all, let me make sure I see what you guys are looking at. Okay, you guys see my whole screen. Um, let's see if I shrunk it a bit, maybe that would make it faster. Okay, that's that. That's that. It gets pretty complicated to try to stream your stuff. Like, really complicated, so. <sighs> Let's see if I made it really small and see what happens. So that's in there and that's there. Yeah. Like look at that. Look at that. This comes and goes. It's it's weird. I was able to I was able to do this before and then it went away and now it's back. It's... <laughs> My manga suit was hitting on me. No, 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 no. If I were to, if I tried it on Photoshop, it would be ten times as worse. It because um, Photoshop uses like ten times more memory. But uh, yeah, possibly, maybe, maybe Monk Studio was just hating on me. But it's not hating anymore, and I'm glad you guys stuck around. Sorry about that. We'll try to we'll try to stop that from happening next time. I'll try not to let that happen again. That's what I'm saying. Um, all right. So since I'm only yeah, I'm not gonna be showing my layers and all that stuff. I'm just gonna be working, okay? And if you guys can just ask me questions for whatever. Um, I want to show the layers, but it, it slows it down a little bit. But look at that. Huh? That's even faster than yesterday when I was working on the lines. A lot faster, actually. So, we're back, and it's working. Yay! So this is what we got. This is the dude. And these are the colors that we've chosen. Pretty good. And I think that we can still modify the colors if we're not happy with it later. Um, but first things first, I'm gonna do a little technique, a little special something, something, a little different than what I normally do. 
and that is I will blanket this guy. I will blanket this guy, okay, with some shadows. That's right, you heard me right. We are going to blanket him with a nice warm blanket of shadow. Actually, it's not going to be warm at all. It's going to be cool. Shadows. Shadows are not in the light. So let's give him some shadows. And that's what we got there. And this is what we have there. And there. All right. Get ready. And one, two. Yeah, hold on a sec. All right. Try again. Okay. We blanketed him. Perfect. Now. So what we're what we're doing is we're working from dark to light. Before I, I paint it in the shadow, so light to dark. And this is a very um, handy technique. Um, but it can be a little tricky. A little tricky. A layer on top of that, and I'm gonna paint out the lights. Interesting. Hmm? Um, I would use a nice solid pen to get the lights out. See that? Yes, sir. So, as I was saying, I would use a nice solid pen. Um, for a nice illustration, like a really, really like, um, refined illustration, I would use a brush and I would paint out these lights, as you can see here, meaning there are gradations, see there's gradation, it fades, it's, it's, it's smoky, not quite, um, uh, how do you say, not quite um, hard-edged and I like this I like this technique but there's only one problem we didn't paint all the other characters this way you feel me? therefore the characters won't look consistent if I do it this way this is a really nice way to, of painting uh, literally painting in your lights I'll just do the face really quick for you guys, just to show you what I'm talking about. You're like, that doesn't look right. I know it doesn't. Just give it some time. Give it some time. It'll start making sense. Programs get jealous too. <laughs> yeah, they do, huh? All right, Photoshop. Wait, which one's getting jealous? Photoshop or? Now I'm going to show you basically um, how this how this looks compared to um, just straight on hard edged. You can kind of tell already, right? Turn off the shadows. If we wanted to bring the color back, erase. We have to erase it and then paint it back in. And it's a really fun technique. 
I enjoy doing it this way as well. Plus two. Of course, you would continue this all the way. All the way down the rest of his body. Light hits here. It's here. We possibly can do it this way. Hitting all the um, the highest points of the form. And uh, the form just come to life on their own. Really Really easy to do. Um, let's do a little bit more here. Just to give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about. And as you can see, how you can see how difficult this would be. If I was lagging, I would be bashing my own head in right now. If I were to try to do this, if I were to try to do this while it was lagging like crazy. So the light's coming from on that side, of course. Um, it's it's one of those things. We decided on going. A uh, more 2D approach from the very beginning. 2D kind of graphic novel style. That would be easier, more quicker to do. I mean, a lot faster to do. A shadow there. Alright. So. That's just a little demo on how I would build lights coming from that end of side of the uh, that side of the page. There was a funny, uh, funny metaphor my my art teacher used. One of our teachers used for um, light and how light affects objects and how it, how it looks on objects. It's like having an old man on the beach and he's flexing. And it's, he's really strong on this side, but then as you go, he can't hold up his flex, so he starts to weaken and he's like, and he, and he's like, oh, and he, he just releases his stomach and muscles and he, his flex. So light is strong over here near the ladies and then as he's further away from the ladies it gets <laughs> it gets weak. Alright, so let's just stick to a, a harder edge here. Harder harder edge. Um oops. Strange. I should. All right. So how does it work? Again. Again. I like I like building lights gradually. So. Let's 
start with a lighter color. And just plop them in. Like this, like this. So more graphic. This would be more like for uh you know 2D animation. 2D animation. Two D animation feel, because even for two D animate, uh, even for two D animation, lights would not get this kind of detailed and complicated, because that's just a lot of work. I mean, a lot of work. Not even Disney cartoons apply this much detail in their sh shadows. It's really an illusion. The uh, the way they perch, the way they convey, the way they um how did that how would I say it? the way they illustrate um lights and shadows and stuff. When you look at it for what it what it is, and not have like you know, not have, not in context. Like if you're just if you're just looking at the picture of of, of the cells, they're really simple and they don't have very much uh, detail at all. Um, yeah. But this harder edge effect here will be nicer or better for illustration. Again, um, flatter, harder edged lines and shadows conveys a more flat Flatter. I'm getting some weird colors here mixed up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna erase all the shadows and start over because I'm basically trying to salvage what I did previously. Previously on X Men. Previously on Dragon Ball Z. Another nice way to uh, build your forms is pulling light out with texture. Of course, it's going to have smooth skin, but if, say, for example, I pulled light out on his cloth or like metal armor, having that texture when it comes out of the, of the shadow is another nice effect you can use. But we're just going to keep it nice and simple. I'm using a G pen. So, for strong flat color and painting, I'll use a pen um, for that 2D feel. Yeah, and I'm so happy. It's lagging only a little bit. And so what I'll do is I'll just pick the the highest peaks, the points of the dude and build off of it from there. Which I should have shown you should have shown you earlier. But this can be really really fun because it's, it's not very 
It's not very difficult at all. And Shadow and Light just it has a life of its own. When you put it down, it just it just does the work for you. Um, now the things to keep in mind is really where is the light coming from? Um, I'd say above top right. Top right, but I want to have this eyes a little bit in shadow. A little bit in shadow. And we can make his eyes glowing. Remind me to do that too, if you guys are still awake, or still alive. After all that running back and forth. If you guys are still there, remind me to make his eyes glowy. That would be awesome. And I get asked a lot, um, and I only did some serious thinking about it to, uh, last night. Um, are you gonna do a manga? Are you gonna have a manga of your own? Well, secret is, secret, truth is, um, I'm actually working for a company right now. And I'll be working on a manga of my own. Well, it's their story, but I'm, I'm their main artist. Um, and there, that cat's out of the bag. I think I've, I've mentioned it. Definitely, definitely mentioned it. Uh, Pocky game. What's a po what's Pocky game? I keep I keep seeing that Pocky game. Pocky. Why is Pocky game? All right. So, how did I build these figures forms? How did I do it? Can anybody tell me? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. He's supposed to be handsome. He's starting to look. He's starting to look kind of creepy now. It's because of shadows. It's supposed to look like seductive and smooth. Now he looks like a creeper. But that's okay, he's the demon lord, man! Um, what was I gonna say? Um, yeah, so how am I doing this? If you, <laughs> how am I, how, how am I casting these, these spells? Wizardry. Alright, I'm gonna show you guys basically how I do it. So I'm thinking in 3D, okay? So I'm not just thinking like the lines and an empty space. I have to imagine the shapes of the skull. And you gotta if to know the shape of the skull, you gotta be able to look at it from the profile. It goes forehead, eyebrow, and eye sockets in here. And it goes nose, cheek, cheek turning down, nose, mouth thingy. So this one, see, see how this and then mouth thingy bottom lip and this catches light bottom lip chin all right in a really exaggerated kind of um yeah so light will hit i'm gonna just do it in blue light will hit this a green this top of this this area here this area here, and even the bottom of his lip. See? Not the bottom. It's really uh, this area here. That's how I dis that's how I figure out where the light is. And it goes it goes beep 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 bop beep boom bow. Um beep um beep. Bip, bop, bop, bop. Every time I go right, that's where the light can hit. See? <laughs> he's got, he's got like 
green noodles on his face. Anyways, hope that made sense. Um, we will continue. Let's leave that there. Let's leave it over. Let me just leave that over to the side in case you guys want to see it. On the chalkboard, it's the chalkboard. All right. So, we got light all over his body. Not all over. So, Oh no, wrong layer. All right. What the heck? What what is going on here? That's the color I want. Yeah, so what I'm doing right now is uh, it's a little secret of mine. It's a little. S uh. <sighs> I'm painting in the lights using black. Isn't that strange? Well, it makes sense if you're using color dodge. So I have this. I have the uh, the layer set to color dodge. And if I turn the layer to normal, you'll see it's all really black. See? So when I use black, it affects the colors, I mean the, the, the shadows underneath, by brightening it up. That's right. Now, if I were to use a lighter black, say this color here, it'll turn it like really white. Like it, it'll just burn everything. See? So, we have to keep it kind of lower. I need to figure out what that color is. Hold on a sec here. Hold on a second. I'm going to pick this color and I'm going to save it over here so that I don't get lost looking for it again. Turn it off to color dodge. And that's really my secret. Um, I'm pretty sure it's, it's used all over the place. But I had to discover it myself. I really did. Nobody taught me. So I'm teaching you. So if somebody asks you, uh, where'd you get that technique from? You tell them the School of Jetty Jets show. Straight up. They're going to be like, whoop, psh, psh, ah. That's a nice technique. Where'd you get that from? <laughs> Master Jet. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm not Master, by the way. I'm just Jet. Okay, and also this awesome music is by a buddy of mine. If you guys follow my YouTube channel, you guys will know. Uh, my buddy Vibo. Bebo. He does my music for me. For free. Well, I try to help him out a little bit, you know, with tips. Here and there. But still, he could definitely use some love on his. Uh, his YouTube page, Vibo and Friends. He's got a lot more music there. And he's got a whole a whole library of music that he hasn't even shown the world yet. It's so talented. Really, really talented. But yeah, we grew up together. We've known each other since we were like... Well, since we were born, actually. We are family friends. And we both turned out to be pretty artistic. He's a darn good dancer too, like pop locking, pop locking demon. He's won competitions, like citywide competitions, as well. So pretty good. And he makes my music. 
And if you're watching, V-Ball, shout outs to you, buddy. Thanks for the music. Let's not do that yet. Let's do... Well, yeah, let's do that. Why not? Why not? As you can see, this thumb was the same shadow, same, same value as the um, uh, shadow behind it. So by putting the light, it pops his hand forward, forward, forward. Finally got this. Um, I will pick the color and save it. <laughs> You're taking notes. Very good. Very good. I'm pleased. I shall pick the color and save. That's right. Because let me tell you why it's. This is one of those things that artists will deal with and. You someday shall as well. If this is your bag. If, if this is what you want to do. Um, saving colors that you have. For example, the color dodge tool. Alright. If I'm using the color out here. Alright. Look at that. I cannot see it. It's invisible. Because it color dodge only affects the colors underneath. Underneath, <laughs> but yeah. So if I if I if I chose a different color and I lost the color and it's no longer what I'm using, I I'll, ha I'll have to go back and select the right color. Now color dodge is really sensitive, so if you're just a little bit off, it's not quite the same color. You can see the value, like it it be, it would be a lot brighter um, than you would want it to be. So for example. The color that I'm using, it, you can see how every time I put it down, it it matches the colors uh, previous to it. Yeah? So look at that, see it matches it. Now if I were to use a different color, let's just let's just change the color a little bit. If I were to turn it up a little bit, just a tiny bit, like that. Okay, okay. I was wrong, but still, you can see there's a slight difference, and you don't want that. You don't want that slight difference. Now, since I changed the color, I don't have that color anymore. So how do I find it? Well, I had, if I had the color saved, then I can get it back easily, which I do. But it's hard because, okay, I'm going to turn off that color dodge and put it to normal. See? See? It's all there. This guy's been playing in the in the dirt. So I want that color here. But instead of having to turn off the color dodge mode every time, just save it and have it up here. And you'll be good to go. Word. Word. Wired up. Do you guys still say that? Fresh Prince used to say that. It was a 90s thing and it died the word died the word it died uh around the 90s late 90s and then 2000s they just stopped saying it but then it became my mission to bring it back I just thought it was cool cool word word Say word. You say word if you agree with somebody. It's an, a, you use it in place of, oh, I agree. Like, for example, oh man, that girl's cute. Word. <laughs> 
What? It also means really? You can also say really? So like... Man, I got a brand new video game. Word? And then the other guy can say... Word. I'm teaching you guys all my secrets. Go on. Go on now, children. Propagate. <laughs> Propagate. This newfound knowledge. You shall become great. You shall. You need to hype, put a hyphen in between Jet and Desi. Jet and Desi. Jet Desi, yo. So I'm putting on these lights here. Since he's an evil dude, I really can make the light just like hit him just just from above. Like that. I'm going overboard. I need to erase some of these lights off the side here. Because oops, 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 oops. Mistake. My mistake. My mistake. I'm gonna teach you guys what's going on here. The strongest cast shadow will ultimately this blah blah blah, blah will um decide or indicate what which direction the light is pointing. So a good indicator right now is the one that underneath that's underneath his chin. It's going this way, going towards the left. Therefore we know everything else will follow. So, again, it's all dependent on each other. Everything depends on each other. This light really wouldn't be there, except this very edge here. So it casts all this light, and it catches right there at the very end of it. So this area is being blocked. And it's not really about whether it's right. What's mo ah. most importantly, it has to be just, it just has to make sense. You are the creator of this, and whether it makes sense is what's most important. Where? Where? See, too much light. You want to just catch it right there in the end. I think that'll work. But again, light is also coming from above, so we can get away with that there. For example, I'm going to put some lights here, here, and it can kind of, kind of fade as it goes to the bottom portions. Yeah. It just catches it, like, like, so, ever so slightly, just, dip up, bow. And we can catch it just a little bit on his arm, not too much. Like that. A little more. If we do a little more, need to do a little more. And also, it's important to follow the form. See the form. 
of figure in all this. So, why did I just do that? Because I felt like it. It's hard to keep up with what I'm doing at the same time. Sometimes my brain is doing more than I can speak. Definitely. I I don't think I'm the greatest speaker, so that also kind of limits me. So, a lot of light and it weakens and it gets less and less. Maybe this end of his finger here. Like that. So it's it's emerging from the darkness. Yes. And the highest point would be the center of all this. That's in the back. <sighs> Same with this side here. Does that make sense? It wraps going this direction here. And then the light is on the center area. It's in the center area. Let's give it some light over here. These, these, these gems. These odd looking gems. All right. Let's give him some light for his hair. Hair. So you can see how how useful this technique could be when building shadows you're building light actually so yeah you're not really building shadows you're building light but in the process of pulling out lights you in turn create shadows as a as a byproduct and that's pretty cool but be careful. Be careful. Because what you want to be, if you want it to come back to dark, you're not, you're no longer painting in dark. You're erasing it out. So I'm going to be erasing it out. See? You erase it out. I'm erasing out light. And this is the beauty of having separate layers. Since the light is on a separate layer, I can I can modify the, the light and not have it affect the color underneath. Beautiful. And I'm sure you guys are learning just by watching. Yeah. Finally getting in the groove of things. As I said before, the hardest part in a drawing, the most hardest part, is really the brainstorming part and the coloring part because you're deciding what you want and sometimes there's just so many options and the options is what kills you kills me anyway yeah I'm using a different technique than I used from Uh, the other girls, the other characters from Element Princess.
Now back onto the manga thing. Um, yeah, um, I have a story of my own that I want to do. But bills come first, and so far I'm just freelancing. But I am I was fortunate enough to get a freelance gig where I'm basically in charge of all the art. From the cover to all the uh, shots, to the lines, to the pencils, and to the inks, to the window. No. Not to the window. See here? We got a bone. We got a bone here. And it comes down, but then it pops back out for the lid, the eyeball lid. Does that make sense? I'm sure it does. It's like cliffs. The edges of cliffs. You'll get it. Now, this is tricky because it's pointing straight up and things that are pointing straight up oh, it gets affected by light differently you don't hit it down the center anymore because shadows cast it along the sides You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what that's, this reminds you? <laughs> crawdad legs. They got crawdad legs. And again, I'm just making it up as I go. I am. Um, light really has a light, a life of its own, and it's very forgiving. So there's no real right answer. There's only, it's only really accurate answers. But of course, when you're in art school. You gotta be objective, and they will grade you. Oh, they will grade you according to right and wrong, as they should. As they should. You know, um, I've had I've I've been in classes where some students are angry because get angry. Because the teacher's opinion isn't quite your your opinion. And I think that's pretty hypocritical. Considering you went to that school to learn something. But then you're going to debate with the teacher? Now don't get me wrong. There are some teachers who really don't know what they're talking about. I'm sorry. They are just... Blowing smoke, you got everybody fooled. But it's not always the case. For those who uh, you know what I mean, debate. It's you know, take it or leave it. Take it or leave it. I think it was, oh, yeah, I, I remember. I think it was like my first semester. And it was like, we were just, it was uh, it was like formal analysis class, literally painting balls 
and boxes, okay? Balls and boxes and spheres, they're a better term. Spheres, cones, and cubes and stuff. We're just learning how to basically build form and stuff. Um, a student was always getting uh, negative marks and stuff. And I believe that student was really, really got, got really emotional saying, you're picking on me all the time. But that wasn't the case. It really wasn't. In the end, the student really learned a lot and came out a winner. Because I don't think I don't think they gave up. Yeah. But it's that fight. Why are you fighting? Why are you fighting? Alright, here we go. I'm going to read what you guys have been talking about. Let me in on your story. <sighs> that desaturated color for the win. Ah, Jet Sensei. <laughs> Excuse my terrible Romaji con coming up. Uh oh. Anatta no noai wa Jet Desu. Jet Desu ne. Luckily, I studied Japanese. I studied it. I was like TA for like my community college um, Japanese class for like two years. And I studied it about four years. <laughs> but it was just Japanese 1 and 2. And I retook 1 and 2 again because my girlfriend was taking it. So I got four years of it. And it was fun. But it was like six years ago now. Seven. <laughs> and I forgot all, everything except reading. I can't read kanji worth anything, but anyways, a little backstory on me. That mission will be a failure. Nobody says word anymore, Alameo. <laughs> at least, at least you knew what I'm talking about. There's hope. Now, if <laughs> if you were just like word, what's word? Then we would we would have a problem. Give the evil man an angelic light of heaven, and I. Probably should have just wrote, wrote it. Jet Destiny. Jet Destiny. So Destiny. Let's give this music a break. I'm going to play something different. All right, a little, a little, something a little relaxing, and it's not going to be. It's not really music. No. We're gonna play some ocean sounds. Yeah. Ah, that sounds pretty nice. A nice day out on the beach. Painting and drawing and chilling and learning. Yeah. Oh! I'm on the beach! Oh! A seagull. A, a clam. Oh, I found a clam. Look at that. Alright, let's keep drawing. Yeah. Yeah, I have ocean sounds. I need to get, like, forest sounds, too. But the ones that I found were a little bit too long. Too long. This is an hour long. And it's nice. I listen to it when I go to sleep. It's nice. Really nice. Alright, so this is the top of his forearm. And it's going to catch a lot of light here. Yeah. I like the ocean. It's quite relaxing. Now, complicating things actually by going to small little details like that. Let me show you a little quicker way is just grab a fat brush and just go over it. Boom. Done. Did. See? 
again, simplifying it. Done. Um, done. You want to hit the areas where it catches the most light. Like that. Um, give me a lot of light here. But I might leave all that in the shadow, actually. You know? Why? Why would I do that, you ask? Because... Well... He's the Demon Lord. Demon Lord. Can't get any sunshine. Not even at the beach. Let's catch a little bit of light here. Come this way. Again, what did I tell you guys about simplifying things? It's what I'm doing now. I'm trying to simplify things. Catch a little bit. Maybe I'm beginning to add too much light. Uh, it works. It works. And then, this side of the hair. Oops. Hair pops out right there. Into the light. Back into the shadow. Is the ocean too loud? Ocean too loud. Why do I live stream so late? It's 1 a.m. here. I just finished my schoolwork and I'm going to bed. Hey. Hey, buddy. Question is, why do you live in a different time zone? <laughs> I was trying to live stream this really three hours ago, but I was having a bunch of technical difficulties. And I finally got it working. So I do apologize. But hey, at least you got to stop by and say, hey, what's up? What's up, ghost ride? This being light, would that be light? Yes, it would. It sure would. Because why? Who can tell me the answer why? Because the light is behind the hand, dropping down that way. All right. Okay. Okay. We're going to begin adding the <laughs> mine boom. Yeah, truth is, I'm living over here in the uh, 
California. And it's 8 p.m. right now. It's a good time to draw. It's a good time. Yeah, it's a good time. It's a good time. Now we can reduce the light later just by erasing it out after we're not if we're not happy with it and say maybe there's too much light and it's going against what I initially wanted which was less light. Okay. Yeah, more and more. Yeah, let's leave that in shadow. Putting the light on his shoes will we'll say We'll pull our attention in that direction. So let's just leave it there. All right. Okay. That's got to have light. Got to. Okay. Let's, let's refine this dude a little bit. Thanks, Ghost Cry. Thanks for the light, man. You're the best. You're the best of the best. The best that there is. This way. All right, now we're going to begin refining the little things that we were just brushing over. Turn down these ocean sounds here. Okay. <laughs> zint. Oh shit. Who's Zint? Who are you Zint? Who's this? Who's this Zint? Hey, Lucasio, I don't think I said goodbye yet. Hey, man. Take care. Take care. Thanks for stopping by, man. It's really good having you here. Anyway, take care now. Get some good rest. Get some good sleep. Alright. Alright, erase this out. What is everybody doing right now, anyway? What are you guys doing? Are you guys drawing? Are you guys just sitting here chilling, watching me draw? How's everybody doing? Light hits a bit. Okay. 
I'm gonna add some cast shadows. It's underneath the objects. As the light hits, it will produce a shadow. It will. Homework. I hear you. Oh, I remember homework. Now I just have well I'm still at home and I'm working. So I guess you can consider this homework. Less light, less light, less light. Less light. Yep. Drawing the cast shadows, everything that is everything is producing cast shadows. Here, pockets. That's good there. Good there, let's draw some of these. These uh bold shadows. Very arbitrary. You just gotta try to do what works. It's it's really up to you. Or uh, clothing and folds. Just make it up as you go. Not too specific. Now I had some good training experience with Dragon Ball Z. Matter of fact, that's where I got my experience with drawing shadows. For the most part. And I started doing that at around fifth grade. Fifth grade. Yep. 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 Cast shadow there. Cast shadow C. Do you see the light comes over from? The light comes from over here. Like this. Lands over here. And this, this part of the cape of the dress, it blocks the light. Therefore, we have to create a cast shadow all the way down. Now, we don't have to. Like I said, it's arbitrary. It's all about conveying what looks to be accurate. Yeah, I like this texture here too. It's not so, so straight for his for his leg. I mean, where is where his leg gauntlet? Yeah, gauntlets. That's correct. Yeah, see, yeah. Sometimes you just stumble upon it. Um. It just comes to you. You get lucky. And you're like, oh yeah, that worked. Yeah, so now it looks like there's texture. Oh, we'll keep that like that. And so have some light. We'll re repeat a little bit here. All right, not too much. All right, we don't we don't want to we don't want to overdo a good thing. You feel word say word word 
and someday when I'm an old man, I'll, co I'll compile all this stuff into one, one book. Let's erase this area here. Here. What are you doing there? It's drawing and trying to figure out techniques now, just munching away at this noodles right in front of me. Yeah, man. Munching at noodles. That's the best. Um, we are coming to an end. Oh no. Say it ain't so. So. Uh -huh. Okay, let me just, let me just, let me just save it before it crashes. Should I put that there? I want to limit the light. Sometimes we get carried away. End up doing it anyway. I have to put that there. Why? Because I must. I must do it. Because. There's light on his hair. There's light on his hair, there's gotta be light over here too. It's an unspoken rule. Now, we're gonna go back. I'm gonna add the cast shadows, okay? Pay attention. Okay, so. Wait a second, okay, 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 I'm ready. You ready? All right, so, cast shadows. So we put in the light and then we erase out the areas where the folds overlap on top. See? Like that. And like that. And like that. And let's see here. No, this side actually is goes this way. Because this is on top of that, so yeah. It's a weird shape here. Messy. Let's take it out. Let's take it out. Too messy. Too much. Okay. And a little bit here. A little bit there. Okay. What's next on the list? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Uh, what is next? Um, hmm. Right now, I'm thinking we shall and look, we can adjust the color of his shadow now. Oh, not really. We can adjust the darkness of it. Whoa! I meant to say light. <laughs> you can adjust the intensity of his light. Yeah. That's kind of cool, actually. We can make it lighter. I'm just gonna leave it like like it was. What we can do. It's just the darkness first. And then 
manipulate the light again. Come in a little brighter. Punching it a little bit. Punch it. Punch. Pow! Okay. Now we should be saving that for the end because if I needed to go back and add in light, I'd be using a different color because I've changed the, the actual value of it, the intensity of it. So, yeah. Um, that's the lines. All right, let's add some highlights. Let's add some highlights to the overall figure. Highlights. All right, so we add highlights to things that are shiny. Things that are shiny, such as its skin, the armor, as well as the skin armor, and as well as the metal, jewelry, eyes, things like that. All right. I will use a red. A red. Ah, oh, it works. It works. Let's just go with it. His eyes need to be glowing. I don't think he should have highlights since he is. Maybe we'll highlight there. I just don't like. I just don't like that color. Let's go yellow. All right, we're going to use yellow, and if it doesn't work, we'll switch the color. So, Actually, let's just stick to, let's just go straight on gray. Yeah, that'll work. All right. Lights become too much, highlights become too much, we can always erase it. Hair. If you have shiny hair, we'll see. We'll see.
No highlights on his clothing, okay? Not everything has to be shiny. It's got like golden rope, all right? It's golden rope. Here. I don't want to overdo it. We don't want to overdo it. So we pull back. We pull back. Yeah, we pull back. Thank you, sir. I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Oh, I don't want to fail, you guys. Again, it has to be reserved. Reserved. Not overdone. If it's overdone, it will lose its effect as spotlight. <clears throat> Sometimes I'll look at a portion of the drawing with my peripherals. Thanks, guys. And I'll just look at it from my peripherals and I will see if it works or not. Like, you don't look directly at it just to see if it's balanced. It's like strange. I know. Let's flip the guy. Let's see. Flip him. He's flipped. Sometimes it's kind of nerve-wracking to flip a drawing. Because then you'll catch your mistakes. No, we'll just... Color dodge. I'm trying to find the lighting again. Again, the importance of saving your colors. Yeah, his vein is catching the light. Yeah. Nah. Something about his face. Something about it. 
bugging me. I think it needs more light. Yeah. Yeah. But I think you put him too much in shadow. But I was trying to cap capture that smile. And his cheek, his cheek went up. You know. And this. part of the eyebrow here, which is light. This here. Right. Alright, let's get rid of that guy. He's just he's just hanging out over there. Looking at everybody. Hope you guys remember what I did. Anyways. All right, so I'm balancing. Oops, wrong layer. I'm balancing the light and making sure that I don't equal it. You know, I don't make it equal, like the same same value on both sides. If I'm gonna do one side a certain amount, I have to go back to the other side. I don't have to, but the other side has to be less. Light is not equally distributed unless the person is like. Um, straight on. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? All right. All right, I'm starting to see something now. Remember the shine? I will remember the shine, man. Thanks. I sure, I sure will. <laughs> got it. You got it. Um, what am I trying to do? Yeah. So this hair comes down and around like this. Let's just like that, okay? Does it cast a shadow? It cast it. A, cast it a shadow like that. Wire. Let's uh, let's go back and add that light for the eyes. This is the visual effects part of it. Special effects. Um. See, I flipped my drawing, and I was able to find what it is that was unbalanced. Really, it was an issue with the shadows. I mean, the light, it needed more light on his face. His face is downturned a little bit. The lips turn up a little bit, right underneath. Um, yeah. All right, let's let's do that lighting for the eyes. Let's see what we can do here. Um, I'm just gonna use a spray can. Spray some of this lighting in. Oh, well, that's not what I was looking for. No, sir. Bad kitty. Bad kitty. Well, we can. We might. We might not need to do that. We might do it. Um, we'll see. Maybe. Possibly. Orange. Orange. All right. 
doesn't seem to be how do you say it doesn't seem to be intentional is what I'm saying we might have to add it in later or scrap it all together you know what I mean it doesn't look intentional and I need to basically if I were to do it I'd have to uh, do it on a separate Take care of that later, basically. Basically, yeah. Maybe this eye, just correct a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit. Yeah, just a hint, All right? Just a hint. Okay, let's do some of the soft light that will emanate around his body and everything else. It will be slightly brighter here. Uh, brighter on top because we have more light up there. brighter on the right. Well, this would be the right side. Come down. Brighter on this thingy thing. That. Give him some soft reflected light bouncing from underneath. Does that make sense? Sure it does. Light comes from underneath. Ground is white. White ground has a lot of reflected light. So. Like the light on this side here. All right, let's give him some some value, some more value around these areas here. Some more value around these areas here. Let's use purple. Now let's do it over here like this. Yeah. Basically pumping in the I'm basically um it's called a color burn. Burning the colors. And yeah, that should make sense. Burning the colors. So that it's not so, uh, uh, one color ish. I don't know. I don't know. Da da da. Oh no. I was trying to do that. That sport noise thingy thing. Put it in. Pull it out. See it? I'm erasing around it because it bled into the. Uh, 
dudes. Basically, give him hints of color. All right. I'm going to add some reflected lighting. And this should be just about the last thing I do. Yeah. Let me just erase some of this out for a second. All right, so reflected lighting, reflected lighting. A dodge is going on way, way longer than I thought it would. I use a. What am I gonna use? Pencil. Pen. Let's just use this color for now, since he is the god of the underworld. He's got all kinds of weird lighting at his home. Actually, for a wait a second, wait a second. Let's see, we can do something. So that's what happens when you remove <laughs> shadows. Kind of cool, actually. Yeah, lighter shadows. It's kind of cool. Anyways, opposite of the opposite from the light source, you gotta put in the reflected lights. So let's use a paintbrush. Oops. Paintbrush is because it's not so stark. Not so um, hard edged. Softer edge. It does require a little bit more a little bit more space to do, so it might be kind of laggy. But this reflect light can be really color of the sky. Give me the color inside his shadows. This. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Shrink the brush a little bit then. All right, all right, I'll stop messing around.
that's right. A little purple. Yeah, normally I would use a really hard edge pen brush, pen tool, because I want to keep it consistent with uh, the other characters, because I use completely flat pen tool colors, but, you know, got to change it up a little, change it up just a little bit. And it's, it's trying to look a little more painterly because of it, because of this here. Actually, it's got blue light coming from the opposite end. little conflicting there. Just erase it off here like that. And It's right I'm painting at the beach, enjoying the waves, sun. Not really, I wish though. I wish. Brighter here. All right, okay, so now if I turn that off, what would happen? See? What do you guys say? I don't know if I want to put this here. Yeah, 
Yep, that's the look, the color I was looking for. That violet. Violet color. But then, it looks like he's really from the underworld. Actually, maybe the color we have is just fine. Okay, so there we have it. Um, wait a second. I said I said I would leave this part dark, but I think I can use some kind of lighting. Yeah, I'm from Cali, California. Uh, <sighs> California. Our party. Right, so we're gonna turn the background color dark just to see if there's anything that bled out of the figure. There, as you can see, I caught it. I had some colors here that I couldn't see with the white background because I was painting white, white on white. But now you can see it. And also, it's a better way to see the reflected light where is it at? oh there it is we are going to select it like this and we're going to erase it out now as for this reflected light all on the right side I've made an error see the light comes from the right top right and it bounces to the bottom left that's where we reflect that light from okay
Let's just erase. I went to the Academy of Art University in San Francisco. Four years. Four years. Now, I'm going to. I'm going to make the shadows a little softer edge with the, with the brush, so I can go back with the brush and basically blend them in. See, blend it. Now I won't do that all all day long. Only on some parts. All day is synonymous with everything. <laughs> Not really, but in slang, yes. more shadows here. Can we get more shadows over here? Yes, we can. So yeah, um, I think that's about it. Um, actually, we can we can put a highlight right here, just right there. One highlight. One highlight on his eyeball, <laughs> eyeball, third eye, and then we'll call it quits. Um, one strong highlight. Uh, Why isn't it turning white? Whatever, I'll put some highlights there and there. It just won't turn white. There is one last thing we can do, if you guys are still up for it. We're going to do the very limited hard edge cast shadows. 
Alright, this is... This will be the last touch. The last. So in areas where the light just does not, can't touch at all, those would be areas kind of like crevices and stuff. So in those kind of areas, you, what you can do, what I'm going to do, is darken it close to black. Close to black. Like this. Okay. You'll see in, in mangas, they, they always have like a really stark black area that really doesn't make any sense. They'll, they'll do it just like right underneath the neck. Um, it becomes a stylistic thing. But what I'm doing is incorrect, because I'm doing it both sides. You gotta choose one. You gotta choose one. And I wouldn't call this cast shadow because cast shadow, <laughs> cast shadow has light in it. Actually, the color underneath shows up. I'm talking about black, like these these lights. Like, you know, like, like armpit areas, you know, there's just no light. They're usually found in bends, bend in there, bends, yeah. And they're very, very limited, they're very limited. They're not everywhere, um, so, add a little comic-y feel to it. That's acting more like a cast shadow with the, with the gradation, gradation, a little bit in here. These pockets. Here, just darkness, darkness. Um, again, there, those areas are very limited. And it can be pretty complicated to find out where you should be doing this. Sometimes, sometimes, like that, that right there that I just did. See how it, it, it only works right in the very corners, the edges, crevice, and in the shadows. You can't, you wouldn't do it out here. This stuff out here, that would only mean he has holes in his arms. And that's no, that's a no no. And then there's, you know, in graphic comics, um, they're also, they'll also basically use pitch black for the shadows, but that's for two-tone comics, two to three tones, and that just speeds everything up with, um, in terms of value, and it's just like, literally two, two colors, but, um, I think what we got so far is good enough. It's nice to have it around the head because it's the strongest contrast area. You got the brightest brights next to the darkest darks. Causing your eye to go in that direction. Again, I don't want to go over it underneath it like this because then it's not a crevice. That would act as a cast shadow. And you'll see mangas doing that. 
and it, it became a stylistic kind of choice, but it's it doesn't work really. It doesn't make any sense to to add a cast shadow within a cast shadow. See, there's already one here, and you're doing another one. This makes sense. If you're gonna do that, you gotta go all the way with the cast shadow itself. go let's just color adjust some of the clothing see if we can get better colors for his clothing maybe his gauntlets could be darker maybe not maybe so yeah I think it can be darker Darker, super black. No, it's definitely darker. I need to pull out these lights really quickly. Really bugging me that area. There you go. Um, what was that? Boots. I'm gonna darken them a little bit. Let's see what happens. I mean, he's a bad guy, you know. He's got kind of dark clothes. Even the Element Princesses has darker clothes than him. Overall kimono itself is a little darker. Yeah. Sometimes when I select colors, they tend to be a little lighter on the light side. Kimono trim, could desaturate a little bit. Darken it, saturate it. And then we can hit undo, 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 undo. And then we can redo, 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 redo. And then we can see. Oh. Thanks out. I know you guys said white hair, but just play around with it. Just play around. I was thinking like colored hair would look so cool. All right. The people have spoken. Green would be cool too. Yellow, no. Yellow looks too friendly. The white's cool. Purple's cool. Yeah. Go right there. <laughs> Hakama, that's what it is. Kind of. Not quite, but yeah. To the back of the Hakama. You're talking about like right here, this area. Just... Yeah, they're really dark shadows. Now, because there's a lot of bounce light coming from underneath, it lights everything up like that. It happens just around the, the highest point of light contrast. How many colors level courses in art have I had? Oh. I've had, I think, I don't know. Like, um, 15 maybe? 20? 15? I was in art school, so four years. Three. Like two art classes a semester and 
and one liberal arts, maybe three art classes a semester, so three, two semesters a year. Um, that's six, six times four, twenty-four, just about, in terms of art. I'm going to do one last thing. I know I said that before, but this is the ultimate last. Or maybe not. <laughs> just kidding. I'm going to fill them in with one color, like that. What? Yeah. Who oh, watch this? You ready to see some magic? You guys ready to see some magic? That's not what I wanted to do, but this is what I was gonna do. Check this out. Check it out. Check it out. What? What's going on? What's going on? What? I won't leave them like that. I put too much work, of course, but that's an effect that you can do. Um, yeah. I've seen some pretty famous artists do that. Witchcraft. No. To multiply. You get some really dramatic effects that way. A lot of these digital techniques, by the way, were self-taught and like self-learned, self-learned. Um, really, just exploring and stuff. For the most part, the things that I learned in art school were the principles: how to render a sphere, how does light work, and drawing how to draw the figure, things like that. Applying it really it just comes second nature. You just after you learn how to do it, you just uh, you just do it. It just comes to you. You're like how the how the what? You're like how the what? It's really slowing down for me, but um, because I'm using bigger brushes and stuff. But I'm erasing out most of the stuff that I just I just showed you guys. It's okay. That there, my friends, is called subtle subtlety. Say it with me: subtlety, subtlety. It's that extra little push, that little, just little hint that just, you know what I mean? You, 
Just, mm, what's that little... Can't, you can't really explain it, but it's there. If I were to turn it off, it'd look like this. It's just light all over, but if I turned it on, there's just that slight little, um, yeah. Oh, thanks, ghosts. Ghosts. Yep, that's it for tonight. That's everything. I've taught you everything I know. I know everything. There's nothing left for me to teach. <laughs> Subtlety. Sub subtle, subtle, subtly. Yeah. So there we have it. We have one bad guy. His name is Jarek. He's bad. And he, uh, yeah. All done. Call it, call it a night. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys and gals, bros and brosettes. <laughs> I mean, sisters, sisettes. <laughs> Drinking water and making a joke is bad for your health. I did that yesterday, but what I was saying was brosettes. That's a uh, what are what are two opposites in one? You can't you can't be a brosette if you're a bro you're you're a guy. But anyways, that's it. Um, if you guys have any more questions, it's gonna take me a while to get the the, the questions, so I'll just leave it at this, okay? Thanks guys for sticking around, especially the ones who were here from the very beginning. Really appreciate it, you know. Really, really cool. Um, as always, I can't do this without you. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Thanks so much. Good night. Talk to you later. Peace.